Gardening isn't a common hobby in Nigeria where I live, especially among young people, particularly in Lagos, where land is at a premium. There isn't enough space to plant trees, lawns, or shrubs. But since the pandemic, all that has changed, people discover they can have potted plants as we are bringing some greenery into their space. Hi, I'm Joan. I'm a plant and gardening content writer. I write about enlivening living spaces with tropical plants and my aim is to inspire a DIY gardening culture in my community. Today, I'm at a friend's place. I've come to see her plants. She started this plant collection about three years ago and that's about the time we met. So, do come along. Hi, Ada. Hello. <laughs> All Hello. right, so, Ada is Elaine's plant journey on, on Instagram, and um, she started her plant journey um, three years ago, yes. right? How yes. many plants did you have at the time we met? I had probably like two. Two, all right. I had two. Okay, so how many plants do you think you have now? You I, can't I've, count. I'm not even going to count. Okay, all right, so let's- <laughs> I have loads. Let's look at her plant collection and okay. um, just see what she has and perhaps pick up a few tips. All right then. Yes. Okay, so what's your favorite um, genus of plants? Philodendrons. Philodendrons. Without a doubt, Why is that? I adore them because I'm a foliage girl. Okay. I love foliage. Okay. So philodendrons have interesting foliage. Something is always changing, and okay. like take a look at this now. This is the pink princess marble. So it's okay. not the typical pink princess. I have the pink princess over here. Okay. Let's look at it together. So I have the pink princess over here. But then this is the like the marble variant okay. of it. So, uh, okay. really unlike your pink princess, that typically the variegation is quite unstable. It comes and goes. But this one seems to be. It's still early. I've had it for a few months. So I'm hoping that um, it grows big and it maintains the popping variegation that it has. Okay. So for sure, for me, it's philodendrons, followed closely by hoyas. I adore hoyas. I have a couple of them in my collection, especially the ones that sun stress. I. I'm in love with the ones that sun stressed. I'll show you one that sun stressed recently that is making me really happy. Can you see? Oh, lovely. Okay, what Hoya is this? I honestly don't know. I don't know if it's a Lobai dark red or is it Vertilica? I, I really don't know. I'm still searching for it. And then this is one of my favorite Hoyas. I think it's called Clemisorium red or something like that. Oh, this is lovely. So I have, this is the regular one, then I have the red variant. Does it grow bigger yes. with my, many more oh, leaves? Oh, yes. Okay. I, just the other, the one that okay, is bigger than I this, this um, is not here. I collection. I would okay. have shown you, yes. Okay. So I love Hoyas. I, philodendrons for me, Hoyas. And that's the philodendron Birkin there. And that's the Birkin. I have okay. an insane amount of Birkin. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> what, are, what's this? This is an anthurium, right? Yes. Okay. Is the radican and Luxurian. Okay. So so after Philos, Hoyas, Hoyas, the next for me will be Anthuriums and not leaf Anthuriums specifically. So I have a couple. Okay. I so have some big leaves one. I think this is Germani. I, I'm I'm really not sure what the name of this one is. Something king, I can't remember. And then this is the very this is the Germani, yes. This is the it's Germani. variegated. I've been okay. getting all white variegation, so I need to put it in sun. You need to put it in sun. Sorry, sorry, I had to put it in shade, shade. Okay. so it balances right. out the variegation. variegation. Okay. And then this is one I absolutely adore. What's this one called? It's a plowmanii. Oh, okay. It's grown so big. I'm scared to change to give it a bigger pot because it will probably grow bigger, but I don't mind. Okay. It's taking so over that Obviously, spot. all your plants are in pots because um, we're standing on concrete here, so yes. you can't actually plant put them in the ground. ground yes. Yeah. And I try to control them, so I have some pots. This has been in here for two years. What what philodendron is this? Black cardinal. Okay. So it um, you control them by leaving them in, by leaving the, them in, in the, the pots, same pot yes. so that they don't grow bigger. Yes. Okay. So I only change the pots if the leaves start getting smaller, if okay. the new leaves start getting smaller. But if not, I pretty much leave them in the same pot till they cry out. Okay. Um, after anthuriums, the neck. Oh, this is. You should see this. I, when I got this, it was the leaves were a little bit smaller, but it gave me this massive leaf. Okay. It's coming out again. I can't figure out, if anyone knows, let me know what this is. When I got it, um, the seller said it was the Hukerai um, variegated, but I really don't think it is. Well, this is another anthurium that I love. I don't know the name as well. Okay. It has, it comes out whitish, 
and then evens out pinkish. Really pretty. Lovely. Next for me will be. This is another filo. Oh yeah. Miranum. Mm -hmm. Filo Miranum. Oh, this is a filo that I adore. Sorry, I adore many filos, but yes. This is the gigantum. Ah, okay. Yeah. So that means the leaves are going to get really, really big. Yes. Okay. So this is the variegated version. Yes, this is a variegated ah, version okay. of gigantum. Okay. It's going to be in this pot for a while because, like I said, I'm controlling my space. Okay, and then you allow your plants climb as well. Yes, so I have. To attach to the wall. I have a few of them that I let to attach. Okay, that's an um, IP premium, right? Yes, that's a civil blue. Civil blue process. And then I have some at the end. I'm sure we'll get to it. Okay, so Monsteras. I remember. Oh gosh, Monsteras I love Monstera. Yeah, okay, Monsteras I forgot. was what connected us. Yes, because yeah. I was looking for a Monstera. Monstera that yeah. Monstera is here. That's it over there. In fact, there are two of them. You propagated it. I remember watching you pot up that Monstera. See, and it's still in this small it's pot. The same? Intentionally. Okay. So this is the same Monstera we got yes. three years ago. Yes. Wow. See how big it's grown. And okay. it's in that pot. It was in a bigger pot. It would probably have grown bigger than okay. that, but I'm controlling it with that pot. So I love Monstera. You're right. I have a couple. I have the Thai constellation in whom I'm well pleased. Okay. <laughs> I, I've wanted this plant for so long. I have the Albo, the regular Albo. I have the Oria. Monstera Oria. And then I have an insane amount of the regular green. I probably have maybe almost seven or eight. I okay. think we'll look at it later. Okay. And that's your fiddle leaf fig. You're also a ficus Oh, girl. yes. And now I'm realizing <laughs> that I like plants. You like too many, so many plants. I mean, there's no so particular. Yeah. And then the, the, just, you notice that they are mostly aroids. Yeah. So you are 95% aroids. I love fiddle leaf figs. This was the first fiddle leaf, the actual fiddle leaf fig that I got. Oh, really? How yes. Long, how long have I've you had this before? for over a year now. Okay. So you got it as a small plant? I got it, it was three feet. It was like here. Okay. And then you, it's grown. Do you like buying your plants small and letting them grow or do you like getting big plants? Oh gosh, it's, it's a mix. It's a mix. It's it's a a mix. mix. There's some plants like this one, you can't really tell, but this is huge. This is a big one as well. And that's a fiddle leaf. Then this is the bambino. Okay. It has smaller leaves compared to the other ones and they are a bit, a bit more compact. Then, I have the variegated one. This is my second attempt at this baby. The first one died on me, but this one has been alive so fast. What happened? I really don't know. I really don't know. And I've realized from, from over the past few years, some plants just, maybe the gene, it's, it's, it wouldn't just make it. But this one has been good. Okay, so what do you what do you have here? So I have my tall plant. I have my gorgeous. Oh, oh you see my thigh constellation. I have my biliate, biliate, I don't know. I'm right. looking for the variegated version. One day I would own it. So for every plant you have, you must have a variegated version. So I love variegated plants. Okay. So if there's a plant and it's variegated and I can afford it, you get I'll it. I'll get it if I can't afford it. Like I can't afford the variegated version of this of now. This just so yet. I'm but patient. the price will come down. Exactly. Patient, I'm patient exactly. to wait. This is a Patricia. I had I cut it and it didn't do so well, but it was so massive before I cut it. It's, the leaves are long, kind of similar to the Bilete, but not so much. Mm, it doesn't have the uh, lobes. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, exactly. This is summer glory. The new leaf comes out burgundy. It's a very gorgeous plant. Oh, interesting. It oh, and then this is my pride. Oh, this is a Jose, Jose Bono. Oh, it's huge. Yes, it's huge. It's, it's huge. huge. And then this is the Paraiso Verde. So, um, how do you make your plants grow? Um, vertical moss poles or let them climb the wall which which works better I do moss poles and then they just climb afterwards okay, <laughs> you no start them up moss, like if, moss you, if you look here okay. I started this one from the moss pole what plant is that this is our I think it's called what's it called something spade uh, king of spades I think so why well, is it easy to find really easy to find here okay that's okay and then, so I put on the moss pole, see here, and it's just gone all the way up. 
my ball max hmm. has gone all the way up and then unfortunately it broke that, oh, no. that broke my, it, like it bent can you see oh yeah it broke my heart because oh. it was flowering oh has oh, lots of flowers let's there let's see the ball max flowers oh the flowers have dried up now no there's some of them are still there i didn't, I didn't catch that can you see the other ones that are there so um, it's hard to believe that this massive one is the exact plant as this one. It's yeah, I haven't seen a... I've actually had a ball max forever and I've not seen one grow as big as the one you've just shown me. Yeah. Then this is the variegated version. So the very, this is actually the variegated one that has reverted. Okay, so this is the Ficus strangularis. I remember I looked for this plant um, for a long time and I finally got to have a sizable one. I think it's a very beautiful plant, especially as it's getting very full. It's, I heard it's temperamental, but it's not been temperamental for me, so I'm happy. Then there's also my pride and joy, my Rojo Congo. Ah, yeah, you gave me I'm my, love. Yes. my gifts of Philodendron Rojo Congo. So that's, my, so that's another plant that I really love because I have a couple. I have another one. So this one looks a bit different. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel it looks a bit different. So why do you have it. two Rojo Congos? Why do you have more than one of any plant? Um, okay, so in my defense, I'm a collector. <laughs> so if I see a plant and it looks just slightly different and I really like the plant, I most likely will get it. So for this one, it looks a bit... When I got it initially, it was really dark. It was dark um, green. But now it's kind of looking like the same, but I felt it looked different, but that's why I have. And then sometimes the profile is just better, it's nicer. That's the Imperial Green, um, Philodendron, Philodendron Imperial, Imperial Green, green. Okay. and that's the Imperial Red, red over exactly. there. Exactly. Once there's a green, there's a red. Yeah, there's a red. Okay. That's, the, that's the Imperial Red over there. Okay. I had a massive one before I cut it down. Oh, and then this is my beloved Narrow Escape. Yeah, I remember when you got this plant. Is it the mm -hmm. same plant? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's so it's big, big now. Yeah. This is the ring of fire. Can you see the variegation? I'm hoping that the new leaf comes out with popping variegation. But yeah. I remember when I wanted this plant. I've had it for two years. I cut the top. The bottom is over there. But I wanted this plant for so long. So how do you keep track of all the different variegations, leaves, different things happening in your garden. How often do you come out into this space to look oh at God, the my, plants? My garden is my safe space. I work from home most of the time and then sometimes I have meetings for four or five hours at, at a stretch. Afterwards, I just come and spend 15 minutes in the garden and it just refreshes me. It makes me happy because you just see, because it's a lot, there's always something new happening every time. There's always like, I came in yesterday and I saw this new leaf on the Jose Bono. It's a half moon. So it oh, just made me really yeah, happy. That's such a lovely. Yeah, it's leaf. a beautiful one. So you come and you see new growth and you're just happy. It makes me really happy, to be honest. So what do you have here? So here I have the Philo Orange Marmalad. It's okay, kind it of similar. It looks like a painted lady. Yeah, similar, yeah. but self heading. And when it's big, it's gorgeous. Oh, I mean, it's really? still small, so it's looking a bit different. But when it's big, oh my, maybe you should put a picture for them <laughs> to see when it's big. And it's, that's the Painted Lady. It's beautiful. Yes, this is the Painted, painted lady. lady. Okay. I need to put the Velcro up there, but yeah. I have a couple. Okay, and these are your Monsteras. These yes, are your Monstera remember plant. I said I was obsessed with Monsteras. Monsteras, huge leaves. So, this is my baby. Oh. I don't know if you can tell how big the leaf is. It is, is. big. It's big. That's, um, and strangely, these standing ones don't grow as fast yeah like i've had this one for it, like over two months it hasn't given me a new leaf but then this one has been it's giving me this new leaf and another one is about to come out so that's what i was saying it is the gene of the plant some plants are just faster that's how uh, faster than others are but the standing monsteras are also um deliciosas right yes they're deliciosas but then they have they, they, they present have like stems. Uh, yes and closer internodes. Okay, so, they so don't, you don't necessarily yeah. need a pool for them. Okay, they can support themselves. Exactly, yeah. so you can see how close the internodes yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. Compared to the other climbing ones. And the, I guess the standing ones. Well, they have their advantage, don't they? Um, you. 
I think they, they take up space on the ground, but then you don't. But need you a don't pole have to worry about topping yeah. up the pole. Yeah. Because so you see, my monteras they are already growing up the wall because yeah. I can't keep on topping up. So the you pole. can grow these indoors, provided there's enough light. Yes. Right, and there's enough space. Exactly. Okay. Yes. That's a lovely caladium, lovely color. Oh yes, it's gorgeous. I mean, I guess. Obviously, I mean, with all of this that we're seeing, um, you can just have a variety of plants in one space, you know. Um, and then if they don't do well, because they're in pots, if they don't do well in a particular area, you can move them. You can move them, yeah, exactly. You move them. What you Other, said. Yes. Yeah, exactly that. I have... This is a snake plant. This is a Santivera. Is this a gold flame? Black gold. Black, black gold. Yes, I'll show you the gold flame there. Yeah, then this, this is, is the variegated yucca. And those are my regular green yuccas. Okay. I've been into yuccas recently because they seem to like the sun. I have the regular green there. And so I rotate them indoors as well. Speaking about sun, um, how do you manage? Because these are all shade loving plants. This, where we're standing right now is quite shaded, right? Because yes. we're in between two buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's, that's obviously something that you need to be aware of when yes. you start a plant collection most of these ornamental plants are shade loving plants yes the arrows like, are all shade loving yes plants. they yeah. like just morning sun morning sun okay and yeah. fun fact when we were when i was when i'm looking for a house i go with my compass to see oh really where am i going to put my plant okay and if i don't if it's not east or north it's a no-go for okay. me okay all right yeah so because luckily you for moved me, in you moved into this um building um a few years ago yeah yeah after you started your plant collection so yeah that was how you so decided I, where to put your plants. that i knew where i to had to because people don't know they just move into a house and they look at of uh, many other things apart from where your plants will stay okay but that's one top tip go with the compass look okay. for the east. well it depends on kind of plants you like yeah. i like ornamental plants okay so they love morning sun yeah um so i need a place that would only get morning sun okay sometimes the sun has been crazy recently sometimes i get more sun here than here so i ha like she said i had to move them i uh, had to yeah. move some recently here and then move some around so that's so the beautiful thing about container gardening yeah so the sun movement is also to do with the um, time of the year yes. yeah so it's a, a subtle change for us here in tropical climates it's more pronounced in temperate climates but it mm -hmm. um, has to do with the time of the year so you like aglonemas as well yes i love aglonemas yeah because um i've seen a few in your collection I love yeah. aglonemas because I, I love they are colorful. I'm not really a color person, but I like that they are colorful. The foliage is nice and they are great to keep indoors. And, and okay, great. And this that's the single neum. This is three kings, right? Yes, that's three kings. This is the Zanadu Golden and this is the regular green. And then I should show you my Ficus baby. Ah, uh, what's this one? Some people call it yellow gem, some people call it autisma. But that's another genus of plants I love, ficuses. ficuses yeah. I try to collect them because they are hardy. Generally, I collect plants that are right because they don't like getting dry. I, they don't mind being dried out. Okay. For example, this parasoveggi is so dry and I'm not bothered because it don't mind getting dry for like a few days. Okay, compared to... Compared to um, plants friends, that flower a lot, yeah. apart from desert really exactly friends. So I, okay. I don't own ah, a fern. Ah, that's true, you don't own a fern. I don't, because my, my work is quite tasking, so I can't afford a plant that... Needs that much needs attention. That, you know, yeah, I can't. So Aroids are good, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they won't die if you don't, if they're underwatered. Yes. Yeah. So this is one aglonema that I'm in love with. What's it's, this um, I don't know, I've been looking, I think some people say it's Etta James. I, I'm not sure. It's, it's like peach is lovely. There's a white variant of it. I'll show you in a second. It's getting too much sun here. So I had to pot it with this, but this is the white variant of it. Oh, gosh. And that's the red one. Is this the um, this the Zikoni, Zikoni? Yes. Oh, it's the red. No, no, this is the pink. I'll get the red for you in a second. Hold on. So this is the red. Oh, lovely. That's, I it mean, gets it's really red, but I put it in shade. In shade, okay. You know, it's interesting. Uh, the thing about aglonemas is that they adapt to um, light. Okay, mm -hmm. So they may look different in yes. certain conditions, right? And I mean, I gave up trying to know the names of aglonemas when I realized that new hybrids come out every day. So. Oh, yeah. There's always something coming out. 
tell me about these different uh, aglonemas, those green and white ones. So I'm not sure what the name of this one is, but it's, the pattern is similar to the peach one I showed you. Okay. Uh, yeah. The, I love the shape of the. Oh, leaves. I love the shape of that. So this is the one. regular Snow White. Yes, it's a regular yeah, Snow, Snow White. White. Okay. This one looks close to the Snow White, but it has more white. In it, it has more white in it exactly. Okay. And then. This, this has even more white. This is in white it. joy, yes. And it's less elongated. It's so if you notice, the shape is oblong. more like the yeah. suksum, the red one. The okay. suksum is like, like, a, it's, yes, exactly more white. It's wider. Yeah. This is my favorite of all the white. Okay, I can see that. I mean, it's clearly white. Yes. <laughs> this is one of my favorite plants. This is my second try. Just. Second try of what? Of this plant. Oh, really? What happened? You can show that. I got this. Okay. It just wasn't doing well for some reason. It just so wasn't you happy. Got another one. And then I got another. so this is one of the reasons why I get. But okay. I really like a plant and it's not doing so well. I get backup. Just I like to case. call it backup. Yeah. Just in case. Because plants Yeah, sometimes you may not find it. When yeah, I try the ones that you can't really you don't really yeah, find. Yeah, they're not so very common. Yeah. If when you so. see the backup get it. So that's the thing about plants. Some of them do well some of them not so much so another like say genus i really like is ficuses same thing they have different foliages for example this is the ali can you see the variegation i love the variegation of it this one is growing like a tree the wind has bent it but yeah and then there is the burgundy sorry there's a lot of dust here. We're in the season for yeah, dust. Yeah, it hasn't. The rains haven't really come down. Mhm. Mm That's the burgundy, but this is the burgundy I recently cleaned, so you can appreciate the foliage oh, better. Okay. So some people confuse the burgundy with the robusta, but the burgundy has like a red vein. I I, I really love this plant. And then you have my my gorgeous, gorgeous babies. My Shivrena. Okay. So they, they look different. I'm still trying to figure out how come. Ah, like but one both use yellow. The yeah, they're both Shivrena. In fact, come and see. There's another different type of Shivrena over here. So. Can you um, see? Okay. Mm. So they are all Shivrena, but they present a bit different. Uh, could that be the light conditions? No, because the they. Variegations? This one, if you notice the variegation in this, it's is quite bit different. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Even some are the, yellowish. Yeah, some so are the yeah. variegation is not exactly the same. It's similar, but it's not exactly the same. This is interesting. This is um, this is a uh, an aglonema. Yes, but the one we you typically look like the narrow form. Yes, it looks like, the yes. Yes, it looks like narrow, lumina, but yeah. this is a narrow form. Yeah. exactly. It's interesting. Yeah, and then my tineke. I have another alley here, and then I should show you this one. So this is the Melani. So it has, it's like the Robusta, but it has smaller leaves. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a ficus gorgeous. with such um, narrow See? leaves. So this is like, this is your where you have your hoyas. Some of them. Some of them, okay. I'll show you the others over there. I can't. So the newer hoyas, I can't remember their names for some strange reason. See, it's getting beautifully sun stressed. So I love hoyas that sun stress. Maybe I'll show you. Then this is. This is one, it's sun stressing as well. The wind is... It's quite windy here. Yeah, it's, um, it's very windy. Yeah, talking about wind, you had talked about your potting media and how um, your pot gets knocked down by the wind. You use... What kind of potting mix do you have? Well, yeah, my, because I use... I collect mostly aroid. Yeah. My potting mix is very breathable and I... Personally, don't like heavy mixes because I move them around. Okay, so yeah, and so I also something. take them indoors. So okay. and I'm the one doing it, so I can't be carrying things that are heavy. Also, the plants love um, breathable potting mix, and I use mostly compost. Okay, so yeah. So I hardly feed. In fact, my my is mostly I don't I hardly use soil. It's mostly compost. So I hardly feed, um, and it, it just helps me with my. You hardly feed with artificial. With artificial, exactly, fertilizer. because it's mostly compost in the soil already. Anyways. Okay. Yeah. So the compost feeds the soil that yes. feeds your plants. Yes. Okay. Exactly. This is a bird of paradise. Yes. Luckily, there are only two types, so you can't really collect more. 
I have one here, I have another one at the back. I have a smaller one that will be nice for indoors. I'm saying that this is one Agonema that I love. Oh my! It has babies. Oh, not. It has one, two, three, four. See, that's the beautiful thing about potting, having the right potting mix. <laughs> I'm so happy. So I really love, I got this first. Okay. And then I saw this. So I think this is maybe because it's older. That's why. But if you look, this are, is darker. Are they the same plant? Yes, yeah, it's supposed to this be the is, same. Yeah. This is this has more red. If you see, the red yeah, is more exactly. pronounced. And, then the, and it's lighter. The green yes, is not as dark as, as this, this green. So yeah. that's the interesting thing about plants. And I think that's what they do to make you just keep on collecting, to be honest. Yeah. So what plant is this? This is um, Stromanti. a Stromanti, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just got this? Mm -hmm, yeah. It looks wonderful. I wish you all the best. I wish myself all the best too. <laughs> so I was regretting, my, <laughs> regretting buying it immediately I got it. But well, let's pray and hope that it turns out well. There. But this is one Calithia that is very hardy. I'll show you in a second. This one. Oh, the Makoyana um, peacock. So hardy. Yeah. It's one that can take drying out. Right? Calithias don't like to dry out. Mm -hmm. But this one doesn't mind. It doesn't die on you when it dries out consistently. So, I love it. Lovely. So, this is the thing about compost. When I got it, it was just in cocoa pit. He started getting the small leaves. Okay. So, I've topped it up with compost. Okay, so, I'm so sure... You the buy them. Leaves. Sometimes you buy them small, put, your, put them in your own potting media. Yes. And then watch them grow. Exactly, yeah. So... Don't skimp on compost if you want your plants to grow and it's also possible to grow them without inorganic fertilizers. Mm -hmm. So this is my newest Calithia. What's this? This is um, Rose Optica? I think so. Yeah. I, also, I love Calithia for their foliage. You haven't potted it. Is this? No, this I clearly, this is not my soil, you can see. Soil, so, clearly. Okay. So are you going to try and repot it? Yeah, I'll let it settle a little. Okay. And okay. get some new leaves. That's what I do when I get plants. I don't pot it right away. Okay. I let them settle, have like new. a new leaf or two. Before you And then now. repot it. Okay. So I don't put, the, put them into shock. They're already coming into a new home, so you don't want to shock them. And you have much. three of those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As backup. <laughs> No, but then this is another Anglonema that I love. Is the what's it called? Black maroon, I think. Yeah, this is really darker red. Yes, yeah, it's like brownish red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. It's very pretty. Then the red cherry, I lost it. I was very fortunate to get another one of the red cherry. Yeah, this is another one I love. Some people confuse this with this one. No, but these are clearly different now. Yeah, but strangely, people tell you, oh, I have There's this one, actually, this one that so they the, show you. The, the one on your right hand is um, Pride of Sumatra. Sumatra, yes. Yeah? And there's another one that looks like it, but looks more like it than the one on your left hand. Mm -hmm. So I need to show you this. Okay. It's an um, alocasia. Okay. I this love it. I Initially, when I got it, I thought it would be very like sensitive because of how the leaves are leaves are because typically leaves that are thin yeah don't like to be over water underwater and underwatering is what i do yeah so but so far it's been so good it's been growing new leaves see they are green it's called flying squid it's interesting yeah very, i think it's very beautiful and unusual so you know how they say third time is a charm okay this is what they mean Ah, this is the Jacqueline. Yes, you know how this Jacqueline has showed me Pepe, in other words, has died on me twice. And I said I'll try another time, but I wanted to get one that has been grown in Nigeria okay. so for a while. So it's said to, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's been doing well. How long uh, have you other, had this now? I've had this for two months now. Okay. My other Jacqueline's, when I report them, when they, I die. Report them they die. Yeah, have you reported them? But this? luckily for me, this one came in... Nigerian soil. It came in no, it came in good soil. Okay. Oh, Nigerian soil is good soil. Yeah, yeah, Nigerian soil. Yeah. <laughs> it came in good soil. Okay. Not like the one I showed you before. Okay. It came in good soil, so okay. I don't have to report. And it came in a big pot. The last one I had came in a small, small pot. pot so I had, so to, you report. had to report them. And so then. this will be here for a while. Yeah. Okay. And he's been giving me babies. Got, okay. How how many? Did you say babies? Sorry, no, sorry. He's been giving me leaves. Okay, because um. But I'm manifesting. Give me babies, okay? So. So, I also have. Been into desert roses for like a year now, over a year. Oh, yeah. And I just, 
like a few months ago, I collected the variegated version of this. Okay, so if it's not flowering, at least you have something really Oh, no, nice but it's flowered place. already. Okay. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. So right now, there's some interest, right, yes. uh, with the variegated leaves. But desert roses, apart from the flowers, you also have the... Codex. So this yeah. is what I love about them. Yeah. So I don't mind if you don't flower. Just flower. You have an I, codex. I I collect the ones that have. Yeah. I think she would show you. Would show you some later on. Okay. But it's and I like variegated plants. So this is, it's pink though. It's like the small pink, pink ones. Oh, pink flowers. Okay. Yeah, but the leaves are, Very are good to look at. Oh, I spotted a begonia. Yes, begonias don't like me for some reason. I'm surprised this is still alive, to be honest. How long have you had this one? I had this for maybe seven months. Okay. It's grown, died, grown again. The okay. mother plant has grown. Can you see? Yeah. They bring it out, baby. Oh, yeah. So this has a very thick rhizome. It's yeah. Oh, that's why it's staying alive, yeah. right? Because yeah. Yeah. see why I say plants are high maintenance. I, 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 I can't collect them. They're just too hard for me. So this is, I love the snake plant very much. Sounds very, uh, they call it, what are they calling it now? It's a funny name, but uh, we still call it. Yeah, yeah Drasina. So yeah, no, Drasina. it's still Sansevieria Yeah, I love it. And what I love more, oh, this is the need for a report. It's a variegated oh, one. Oh, that's a variegated one. Yeah. Okay, so pretty. It's gorgeous. It's a need for a report, though. The variegated one? You need to report yes, the variegated one. Yes, I need to one, see okay. the roots coming out from the bottom. Okay. Yeah, because it can't break through this. This is a very hard. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will have broken exactly. through it. Exactly. Yeah? Or torn it. Exactly. It's so a very hard terracotta pot. So I'm going to shop. I typically shop for plants in my living room once a week from my garden. It's a whole long story about indoor gardening. Um, I don't have as much light as I would like. So let's shop for plants for my indoor space. First one I'm going to take is this gorgeous aglonema. I think I'm going to do lots of aglonemas for the living room today. Maybe I should do a ZZ. It's, it's always a good idea to do a ZZ. So we'll take these two to the living room. Okay, can I see those? This okay. ones are going to the living room. All right. So they'll stay in the living room for? For the next one, two weeks. Okay. This is the okay. third one we're taking indoor. All right, all right. Mm, interesting. So thanks for coming to my garden. It was a pleasure having you and of course, plants in tropical spaces. I hope I didn't overwhelm you with my plants and I hope you learned a thing or two. And till next time, ciao. Bye. Bye. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do consider subscribing to my channel and also checking out my website, plantintropicalspaces.com. I write about my experience growing plants in a tropical climate to help gardeners like you succeed as well. And do give this video a like to encourage me to do more videos like this. So until the next one, 